Batman Fights Dracula is a 1967 Filipino parody comedy film directed by Rayo D. M. Diaz and made by Rhea Productions. It stars Jing Abalos and Dante Rivero and it is one of the most sought-after Los Asian and Filipino films combined, being also featured on Los Media videos by Air Supersonic U and Wang. The movie revolves around a battle between Batman, played by Jing Abalos, and Dracula, played by Dante Rivero, who was resurrected by the mad scientist Dr. Zorba. Very little information about the movie was available until 2015 when Pelicola at Ibapa uploaded several print ads of the movie featuring scenes and descriptions. Search efforts for the film were made, including Frank Hablawi's personal search and Abara's grandson commenting on a blog spot about the movie on where he can get the film. The actor who played Batman in the film, Jing Abalos, is still known to be alive today. Someone reached out to Abaro's grandchildren but he confirmed they doesn't have it. Moreover, the actor who played Dracula in the film, Dante Rivero, is known to be still active in the film and television industry in the last two years though it is unknown if he also has the copy of the film. Rhea Productions got defunct in 1994 with most of its film archives destroyed when Ultra Vista Cinema burned down. Little information also survives about the director, Rayo D. M. Diaz, and also unknown if he kept a copy of the film. It is unlikely this film will see the light of the day, but it is still possible. Agent Dobolo is a 1981 Filipino spy action comedy film produced by Ririu Productions that starred Filipino actor and stuntman Weng Weng, the shortest man to be in a feature film. It is his first starring role and the directorial debut of Eddie Nickard. It is the prequel of For Your Height Only, released at the same year, and The Impossible Kid, released in 1982. It is based from several James Bond films. Weng Weng stars as Agent Dobolo. It also stars Tatman Dante Verona as Agent Dobolo 3, Philip Gamboa as Agent Dobolo 2, and Ramon Zamora, known as the Bruce Lee of the Philippines, as Agent Dobolo 1. The film was not dubbed in English as it was not yet distributed worldwide. The two sequels, however, were exported and became court classics. This film's existence was not confirmed until the director, Eddie Nickard, confirmed it on the 2013 documentary, The Search for Weng Weng. The documentary also mentioned the film being lost. Several print ads of the movie with some screenshots are the only known footage of the film, along with the original Tagalog language track of the aforementioned sequels. This film still remains lost to this day. The Lagang Bukid is a 1919 Filipino silent film and regarded as the first Filipino produced film. It was directed by Jose Nepomuceno who is known as the father of Philippine cinema. Based on the original Sarsuela, it starred the original cast of the Sarsuela at that time, including Atang de la Lama. The plot follows the story of the original Sarsuela. A girl named Angelita was forced by her parents to marry the wealthy Don Silvestre. However, Angelita had already fallen in love with the student Cipriano. Don Silvestre offered her parents a chance for Angelita to win the Lanvargadia beauty contest in exchange for the marriage. Cipriano heard the plot and rushed to Angelita to stop the ceremony. They marry and Angelita also win the beauty contest. Don Silvestre then acted vengeance that resulted in a secret name La Venganza de Don Silvestre or The Vengeance of Don Silvestre in English. Released on September 12, 1919, it was released with Filipino, Spanish, and English subtitles. It was considered a box success for earning 90,000 pesos from a budget of only 25,000 pesos. Sadly, all of Nepomuceno's films are considered lost. His films were either burned twice in the studios of the Lalong Bukits distributor Malayan Movies and the remaining artifacts were destroyed during the Battle of Manila in World War II. Although with the discovery that the 1934 American movie Blades of Sulu were actually cut from Nepomuceno's 1931 silent film Molo Pirates, it opened the possibility of other Filipino movies in the archives of other countries, 
including Nepomuceno's works. Milagro sa Porta Vaga is a 1982 Filipino religious film starred by the late child actress Judy Vega and produced by Fiesta Films International. The film is a true to life story about the Our Lady of Porta Vaga, a religious icon depicting the Our Lady of Solitude, which is a Marian titer venerated in Spanish speaking countries and in the Philippines. The Our Lady of Porta Vaga is the oldest dated Marian painting in the Philippines, and several miracles have been attributed to the image. This miracle served as inspiration for the film, with Julie Vega reportedly accepting the role without compensation as a gesture of respect for the church, the nuns, and her deep devotion to her faith. Not much information about the film resurfaced aside from a few print ads, a screenshot from the film, and a mention from the book The Orient Anthology 1980-1989. Search efforts by several people and groups were undertaken since the 2000s, mainly being the religious confraternity Cofradia de la Virgen de la Soledad de Porta Vaga in promoting the devotion to Our Lady of Porta Vaga. It was said to be aired on TV back then, mainly RPN9 and IBC13, which reportedly always aired the film after Judy Vega's death in 1985 as a tribute to the late child actress. The official Facebook page of Our Lady of Porta Vaga and her shrine, the parish of San Roque, on November 2021 also posted a statement about the film, calling for everyone who has the said film. The post garnered attention and several eyewitnesses also recorded their experience on watching the film. The family of Judy Vega also confirmed not having a copy of the film. As of now, the film is still lost.